Crow, we need Kong. The world needs him. And I shall provide him. But before I do, could you guys get this video to two likes? God, I just desperately really need likes. Please like me. We are going to make King Kong. The kingest of Kongs. And there's actually the first piece we need is going to be the Tab G monkey mask. This is how we're going to do Kong. But there's a couple things. One, Kong's more of a brown than a black. So we'll start there, right? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Do you mean to tell me that you have not subscribed yet and that you're part of the 87% of people who have not done so? You better fix that. You better fix that quick or things are gonna get messy. Take him, make him like a brown. That's pretty good. And the face, so make it a little bit darker too. Just a little. Actually, I kind of like it lighter. Nah, darker. Okay, King Kong. But I don't like these almost human eyes. I want to hide the red in there. So I'm thinking maybe, I mean, it might work. It might not work. We'll take a look. I kind of want to give him some crazy. Uh, no, crazy. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, I kind of like the dark peasant eyes. It makes Kong kind of creepy. That's pretty good. That's actually, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna stick with that. And do I do a balaclava? Can I hide the rest of the skin in there? I can help, it's not perfect, but it does help to hide the skin. So we'll take this, we're gonna color this to dark brown. It's hiding most of the skin in there. I don't wanna see that red, but I'm really liking the dark eyes. That's gonna be so good for Kong. Now, obviously guys, down the road, we're gonna make him big. He's gonna be like three, four, or five times bigger than a normal person, All right? So he's gonna be huge. Now I want to add the monster feet. Monster, mon, mon, monster feet. I mean, it's tough to have a monkey suit. Not a whole lot of monkey suit options here in the game, but the monkey feet can do a pretty good job of giving you that, that feel for Kong. But those toes are wrong, so we're going to ditch them and hide them in there. Okay, so I've got a head, I've got feet. Where do you go from here? Is there a monkey torso suit? Wait, in here's like, look, monkey. I don't see a monkey chest. And I don't think there's going to be monkey legs. So we're very much limited here. I mean, what you could do, what you could do is get the bear suit, right? You slap down the bear suit. I, I'm not sold on it. I'm just putting it on here to see what it looks like. I'm really not sold on the bear suit, guys. Because I want him to be a little bit stronger than this. But I guess we can go with this for now. Just to start. Because it does give him the claws, right? I really do like the hands here for Kong. Because no other option will give him the claws. So we'll do that. Um, but I think we're going to go over top. It's even more things, even more armor, even more stuff to kind of start the, the bulking process. So to bulk him, we got to give him the bulk. So that Hulk bulk, you, you, all you OGs know about that Hulk bulk, right? Y'all know about that Hulk bulk. Let's go and find... There it is. Medieval section, just going to begin to thicken him out, to broaden him out, to turn him into... Uh, a monster that's ready to throw down at any moment. But I also don't want to make him too bulky. Like, for example, if I was to drop down something like this. So, so I kind of like this one. I don't like this one because it has these little flaps down here. And that just looks stupid. He's supposed to be a monkey, not, not an armored unit. But this other one, it doesn't do the flaps. I can take it. I can color it the brown, not black, the brown. Because, you know, brown's the color. And it starts to give him some bulk up in the chest. Yes, now we're talking. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. That's really helping with this apes. Gorillas are strong on the upper body. They're, 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 they're humongous. They're powerful. They're thick. And what I want to do is add layers to continue to thicken out our boy. Now, I'm not going to give him other shoulder armor. Like, that's just, just dumb. It's not Armored Kong. Though Armored Kong might make a fantastic video in the future. And these plates, no, I'm not so sold on the armor plates as well. It doesn't, doesn't work with the Kong aesthetic. Kong, Kong doesn't need a cape, so we're not going there. So for now, we're going to leave that and we're going to try and get some, some, how do I word this? Some fluffiness to Kong because he's, he's a monkey. He's furry. So he's some fur going on. I got to just add some more layers. Actually, you know, I kind of like this again, just adding the layers, adding the layers, get the layers in there. Kind of like an ogre, kind of like an onion, got layers. Yeah, I mean like buffet. For example, spooky pants, take them, color them, the brown, not black. I, I just default black, I don't know why. The brown, 
color it the brown just like that look at that some more textures some more layers for a lovely kong i think i saw i did legacy pants again layers gotta layer it i'm gonna say layers a lot here now we're uh, there's some poop on his butt sorry <laughs> just i saw the lumps i'm sorry now we're talking arms need a little something something arms need a little something something is there something in here that can add to like first of all could take this right the medieval bracelet i can just slap it in there and make it brown some texture going on bandanas you can add some texture watch this take that the brown boom ah, no no never mind no. i thought it would be cool i thought it looked good but then you actually look at it you're like i don't know barrels i could do barrels i can give them some big old biceps like here i got big monkey biceps possibly possibly like these legacy arm wraps right take them round them look at that more texture in the arms oh these fantasy wraps are perfect watch this take them wrap up what i can't i can't do the other one why 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 won't you let me do the other one this is just stupid who designed this game fine then i'm just gonna take something like this change it brown again just adding in layers of texture layers of texture so it's not just a straight arm now this is a very subtle build nothing just stands out to you and goes oh that's awesome right there's no one particular thing that makes it look like kong for sure aside from the face but combined all these different layers of texture make it seem like he's no longer a man but a furry fuzzy monkey but this one thing that bugs me are these toes that's that's not that's not a gorilla toes is there is there any kind of footwear in here anything at all actually i kind of like the japanese bag wraps anything at all that can just like smooth that out but the problem is these toes come out so far nothing in there is gonna be able to overlap those toes and kind of round them out a little bit <laughs> bear, just, just bear with me please okay please don't don't judge me until it's done okay i gotta see if this is gonna do what i want it to do and it kind of does you no longer have the weird pointy toes I, I kind of don't you know what yes no 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 we're going for toes we're gonna stick with toes take the raptor wrist guards color them the brown even more texture look at look at that oh fantastic spooky wrist wraps brown them like that more textures more layers guys we've layered this thing like crazy and as for a weapon I can't think of anything better to represent King Kong I mean I can't get his axe from the most recent movie but what he can wield, especially two-handed, and you guys might know what it is, a giant. Oh, no, 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 the tree's too big. But don't worry, the tree might be too big for now, but King Kong is going to be at least three times bigger, at least. Hmm, that's starting to look. How about four times bigger? Ho, ho, ho! There we go! King Kong is ready to throw down with the tree! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the visual appearance of our King Kong. Comment down below and give us a score out of 10. I give this about a 7 out of 10. It turned out pretty good. Tell me what you think. Now for the abilities and the attacks. There's only one problem when you play a character this big, and that's staying standing. So for example, go to test this unit. He's actually... He's walking fairly well, but as soon as he falls down, it's over and he's just down. So one thing I like to do to trick people is to put in a single hover. By adding a single hover, it helps to keep him standing, no matter what. I mean, he still seems like he's walking, he's taking steps and such, but he's not gonna flop over. So that single hover is a sneaky, sneaky way to pull that off. I kind of want to give him a jump. I'm thinking like maybe a Monkey King jump, except that gave him a giant tail, though though can i at least color the tail no i can't color the tail never mind never mind we'll give him a regular old super jump all right that's it red jade spin slash i want to see him slash and spin with that giant tree giant foot stomp just makes way too much sense a shout oh that makes so much sense for king kong statistics wise we're gonna buff him up it's king freaking kong guys so we're going with 200,000 HP, which is a lot more than my usual amount. Size is fine. Weights will make him a little bit heavier, like that. Movement speed will increase that by a little bit. Attack speed increase that by a chunk. Damage, well, King Kong. Gotta give him some damage, guys. Take a picture of our. I, I can't. Can't. Can't zoom it down. 
<laughs> and why is he holding the tree right there? That's so inappropriate. All right, let's take a first bit. Here is our King Kong in all of his glory. He's massive, but not too massive. He's big, but not too big. Because I don't like it when King Kong is massive. It doesn't seem right. And his opponents are going to be some units I haven't used in a very, very long time. First, you have our Sonic unit. I haven't touched him in ages. He's looking fantastic. Over here, you've got some Mario and a Yoshi. Mario and a Yoshi. I haven't touched them in ages as well. Over here, you've got a Charmander. Look at little Charmander. Oh, I should give him fire breath sometime. And then over here, you've got Chewbacca, whose hands are visible. Why don't you have gloves on, Chewbacca? Chewy, something's wrong. And over here, you've got Luffy. And for those of you who know who Luffy is, we be happy to see him. Here goes the fight. Sonic just, I think Sonic just zoomed off the map. And oh no, Chewbacca's got the laser that makes King Kong spin. That's a little bit awkward. Luffy is still alive. Charmander just got wrecked. I mean, it was Charmander, not Charizard. There's a harpoon. Who is a harpoon? Oh, Mario's getting destroyed. Mario is down. Luffy is still, Charmander's still alive. Charmander, hey, I'm gonna come see you. And Mario's still alive. I thought all the units were dead. Charmander, look at you. I love Charmander. Oh, fuck I want Pokemon. I want to play Pokemon. I haven't played Pokemon in so long. Luffy is going to town on King Kong. King Kong with the shout. The, the hover is making this interesting because the little spinny spinny death death gun from our man over here is making the fight a little bit unfair. So I'm going to actually stop with the spinny spinny death death laser. Oh no. Hey Mike. Go ahead. Make a spin. Uh, King Kong's angry. King Kong's angry. And he's going after you Chewbacca because he's been ignoring the spinning King Kong with that 360 spin and then with the giant stop and King Kong was victorious for Charmander. And here we are. We need to start off by choosing the right kind of head for Godzilla and there's only really one choice. I know that the head is in here somewhere. It's basically the Godzilla head but they don't call it, they call it the Tabzilla head and what we're what to do is color it metal. So we're gonna take the head, we're gonna go over here into the silver, and I'm thinking we go with a metal like this one right here. And the teeth, I wanna make them like red, like blood red, red blood, blood, blood red, like that, fantastic. Now on the inside, we need to hide the face. We don't wanna see the little wobbler's eyes in, in there. So we're gonna do the balaclava to help hide the fact that there's a mouth in there. Maybe I should color that the metal as well. So it, wow, that actually does a really good job of blending them in there, fantastic. Now from there, we need to finish off the, the dino look. So we're gonna go with the dino suit like that. No, not black, metal, metal, more metal. I don't know what's wrong with me today, guys. I'm sorry. And then on his hands, we need like, Claws. Are there any claws? Crab claws? No. Weren't there cat claws? Kitten mittens. I, I thought they were cat claws. They're actually called kitten mittens. My bad. Take the kitten mittens. Call them the metal that we're using. And that gives him his claws. Fantastic. So this is like your basic Godzilla. But now we're going to turn him metal. Let's give him some shoulder pads. I'm thinking something like this. Take that color of metal armor him up and you guys wait until you see the weapon i'm gonna give him it's gonna be disgusting and he needs more body armor and i'm not too sold on any of these they're not textured enough i need something with more texture yeah you know what this tab g vest i, I look at everything else and this is just the best option take it color it the color not gold color it the color of metal and we go from there that gives him great armored texture there in the chest and now for some leg plates the obvious choice is the medieval leggings but i kind of want to do more than that what if i do just, just just for a test hold on don't don't get mad at me don't get upset at me this is just for science <laughs> okay that's that's okay let's remove it and try something else we need to make the most powerful Mecha Godzilla known to mankind. And I'm not sold on the regular leg plates. I need something that looks like armor, but isn't really armor. This is kind of cool. Take this color. It's a ooh, that's cool. And all we have to do is color the rest of these parts the correct shade of gray. Oh, I'm liking this light gray, dark gray thing. Okay, let's see the chest plate and color parts of it a darker gray. Yeah, now we're talking. Go into the shoulder pads. Take the little circles, color them the darker gray. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take some of the kitten mittens, color them darker gray, fantastic. But he's not mecha enough. How do we make him even more mecha, guys? Let's look at the arms. Let's find something to go in the arms here to truly take the mecha up to the next level. I kind of like these Wild West gloves. Take them, color them the light. 
Okay, add some bulk there. I want some bulk here in the elbow crease, though. Need a little something, something up in there. Oh, these metal plates. Oh, perfect. This is totally mecha, right? Take this. You're going to color this the gray that kind of blends in, right? Blend it in, blend it in, blend it in. And then these plates are going to stand out into the darker one. Here we go. Except this, it's over here. It's, why is that? Why, why is that like that? Is that a visual glitch? It's got to be a visual glitch, guys. That can't be right. I don't know. That looks pretty brown to me, even in this test. Why is this one arm brown? That's just weird. I could give him spikes. You know what? You know what? You know what? Yes, we will. We will give him spikes. And the spikes will be glorious. They will be fantastic. We will make them not brown. We'll make these dark. We will make these dark. Now we're talking. Oh, those spikes back there gotta be red. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. These gotta be red. If we're doing that red theme, I kind of like that. But then it makes his body red. What do you think about that? Do you like that? I don't know if I like that. You know what? Let's make his teeth and the fins the darker gray. And then boom. All the red issue is gone. Fantastic. Let's add the knight thigh armor. Just to get a little bit more in there. Ooh, the ancient shoulders. Add those. More bulk. Because you know. We definitely need more of that Hulk bulk, right, guys? I kind of like adding this other medieval chest armor just to give it more of a mechanical look. That actually, that looks so good. Oh, his feet. His feet need to be more armored up. I know. We'll go over here. Medieval section. So I'm staring at this. I'm like, something's missing. And then we can get shin pads. And the shin pads kind of block off this look. I kind of like that look. These smaller shin pads. Oh, and these knee ones. Oh, the knee ones are great. The knee ones are great. You take these. Take the brown. Color that. The dark gray. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That looks so good. You know what? I still might add the night calves. I'm going to. We're going to add these. Take the brown. Turn it into the dark gray. It might take this front panel. No, actually, I kind of like that. Wow, look at all this armored in there. Mecha Godzilla layers going on. It's so good, guys. And then I need to hide the eyes in there. You can still kind of see. If you look inside of Mecha Godzilla's nostrils, which is a phrase, by the way, you can see the eyes of the unit. So we're going to grab it was about bandana of sorts. Yeah, the pirate bandana. Take the pirate bandana, color it the metal so that now the eyes are missing. But there's a little bit of red. A mask. No, remove the bandana. Give me a mask. There's, there's mask in here. Right? Take any of these masks and you take the parts of the mask and you color them the gray. Each of them get colored into gray so that you no longer see the eyes. You no longer see the face is perfectly gray on the inside and that is, that is perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the visual appearance of our Mecha Godzilla. Comment down below and give us a score out of 10. I give it a solid 7 out of 10. But we're not done designing it. Now it is time for the weapons and I really want to make this guy powerful. Like I want him to unleash fury on his opponents so to do that we're gonna give him some guns and i can't find the there's a gun in here i want to see minigun there it is that's huge the thing is we're not done watch this if i give him two miniguns and i'm gonna color them to hide them but what happens if we take our mecha godzilla and we turn mecha godzilla to be three times as big oh it's a big mecha godzilla and you can see the mini guns are now that big. But what if Mecha Godzilla is five times as big? Oh my god, can I even zoom out? Is this for real? Now the mini guns are starting to disappear, which is exactly what I was going for. So I need to turn these into the same silver that the rest of his body is, so that they can be hidden and they can blend in with his body like that, see? And what they're gonna shoot, we've got some options, but I really wanna take this to the next level. They're gonna shoot a ridiculous amount of weapons. These miniguns are going to shoot tank rounds. And not only that, this Mecha Godzilla is gonna be summoning bombardments because he's Mecha Godzilla, and therefore he unleashes fury. We're talking a rocket volley, like that. It's gonna be beautiful. We're talking a cannon barrage. Like that, it's gonna be beautiful. We're talking an arrow volley, because why not? Just keep throwing stuff at the people. We're gonna give him a hover because he's gonna be so big, it's impossible for him to walk normally. And we're gonna give him a giant fear because everybody runs from Godzilla. Now I have a bit of a, a question for you guys. I have a bit of an option. We have a normal humanoid shaped Godzilla. What if I take the wobbler and I turn him into a halfling? All of a sudden, it, it kind of looks no, I'm not loving it. I'm not loving it. I was thinking about it, but I'm not also he looks very inappropriate 
right now, not gonna lie. Statistics wise, I'm giving him 300,000 HP, which is triple what I usually do for a very powerful unit because he's Mecha Godzilla. Unit weight will increase that by a factor of five. Movement speed will increase that by a factor of two. Attack speed, I'm actually gonna leave that alone. Damage, I'll give it the nice solid 1,000 damage from Mecha Godzilla. Take a picture of our Mecha Godzilla, which we can't do at all. Like, what am I gonna do? Take a picture of his foot? I might just take a giant picture of his foot. There you go. You know you got a big unit, all you can see are his toes. And now let's take this unit for a spin. Here is our Mecha Godzilla. Honestly, we could probably stand to make him even bigger to truly stand the head and shoulders above things. Because right now, I mean, he's tall but I think he could be even taller. And for the first test, we're going to do the Squire test. And I guess when you compare him to the Squires, he is rather tall. I think he'd be taller. Here he goes, unleashing on the Squires. Waiting for it. He's doing a summoning of a cannon barrage, a rocket barrage, and there's the tank explosion from the minigun. Did you see that? That was absolutely disgusting. Disgusting guys. You guys remember the uh, big King Kong unit we made in one of the last videos? I I don't know if you can take on Mecha Godzilla. I mean, this is Mecha Godzilla after all. King Kong leaps in, bashes him with the giant tree, hits him with the shout. Mecha Godzilla summons a barrage, the rocket barrage, and here comes the tank attack from the mini guns. Hits, sends him flying, doesn't kill King Kong. King Kong is still alive has his arms behind his back, the trees behind his back, it's stuck. Mechagodzilla is reloading, barrage, rocket barrage, in the tank barrage still. It sends King Kong flying, the arrow barrage pierces King Kong, the rocket barrage, the cannon barrage, the tank rounds. King Kong is still alive, continuing to get in on Mechagodzilla. The fear has scared King Kong, but he continues to fight the arrows, the Many gun rounds. My god, King Kong, how much more can you survive? King Kong's gone. Did King Kong fall through the map? No, he's down here. He fell down, he's coming back up. He wants some more. He's not ready to give in and to give up to Mecha Godzilla with the leap blue victory. My god, Mecha Godzilla lost to King Kong. I, I can't believe this. That was absolutely epic, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. That was so, so good. King Kong's amazing.